So your father, apparently, according to the reports, hid a CIA program. We're not sure exactly which program. Your reaction to that? Well, I, uh, you know, I don't uh, have any inside information. The program apparently is is a classified program, obviously. But I can tell you just from reading the news reports and the news accounts, you know, it gets more and more appalling sort of every day. Uh, it looks to me like you had about six or so Democrats up on the Hill decide that they were going to um, politicize this intelligence. And it is so bad that one of their own, uh, Representative Boren, refused to go along with it and then went public and said he wouldn't sign you know, their letter to Panetta accusing him of lying about this program because it was political. And um, I think they're very worried about Speaker Pelosi. They're worried about uh, you know, her charges that the CIA has repeatedly lied to the Congress. And so they, they got the idea, it looks like, that somehow this briefing by uh, Panetta was something they could use to try to provide some cover, I suppose, for the speaker. But, um, you know, you've got all these news reports that have come out since saying that it wasn't even a program. There's this big piece in the Wall Street Journal this morning that says that it was a, a number of different concepts for ways that we could capture or kill al-Qaeda leaders in the days after 9-11. Mm-hmm. Now, I am really surprised if the Democrats decide that that's what they want to fight over. I mean, if they want to go to the American people and say that they disagreed with the notion that we ought to be capturing and killing al-Qaeda leaders, um, you know, I think it's just going to prove to the American people one more time why, you know, they can't trust the Democrats with our national security. That's the same thing I said this morning. Yeah, if, we were making the comment earlier this morning. Why are the Democrats going to spend all summer and possibly derail their entire political agenda to pass socialized medicine or a health care package reform yep. um, and and increase taxes for um, all of America. Why are they going to jeopardize that effort in order to look backwards at the so-called interrogation techniques that resulted in real terrorists being either killed or questioned? Well, you know, I think that part of it is because at the end of the day, they fundamentally um, don't want to admit that, that the programs, you know, the uh, enhanced interrogation program and the terrorist surveillance program, um, you know, and the whole range of other programs that this administration, the president and the vice president, put in place uh, kept the country safe, uh, that we didn't have another single terrorist attack on the homeland after 9-11. And that's, that's a record that they don't want to have to acknowledge or accept. And so I think that they, um, you know, attempt to go back and tarnish tarnish the record um, and call into question the motives of the people that, that carried it out. And, and i got to say, the thing that really frustrates me and that I find really shameful is the idea that we're going to prosecute CIA operatives. Yeah. And I would just remind people, you can get online and find the statement that the president himself issued from the White House when he released all the information about the Enhanced Interrogation Program which, you know, is a whole other story in and of itself. But that same day, he released a statement saying, we do not want to prosecute the people who carried out this program. So (laughs) now you've got Attorney General Holder apparently saying, well, we are actually going to prosecute those people, potentially. But this is, I I keep seeing this from the Obama administration. There is, um, every time they say something like, um, um, well, for instance, on Guantanamo Bay, um, we're going to leave the camp open, and then we're not going to leave the camp open. It seems to be a back and forth, and it's changing um, depending on which way the political winds are blowing. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 there is a lot that's very political here. And and I do think that, you know, President Obama, when he came into office, was sort of unaccustomed to really being challenged. And yep. so when my dad in particular, you know, stood up and said, wait a second, you know, we you, these programs worked, and you ought to go ahead and release for the American people the documents that show how they worked. And those documents, by the way, still haven't been released. Can, can you tell us, Liz, what your father's reaction was over the weekend after this New York Times report? Well, he, um, no, I don't want to speak for him about it because it is a classified program, and he's very careful not to talk about classified programs. Mm-hmm. Well, let um, me let me say uh, Senator McCain had a reaction over the weekend, and he said, quote, do we want America's image harmed more by dragging this out further and further? But I, I'm wondering, is the correct question, shouldn't, shouldn't it be how many lives were actually saved by these interrogation techniques, and which soldiers are we going to give medals to? Well, and I should be, I should divide this up. I mean, his, his reaction to the st- story that we may well be prosecuting folks, I'm happy to talk about that. Please do. Um, what was his reaction? And, you know, he, he is very angry, as you've heard him say publicly. Um, you know, the notion that 
this administration is going to come into office and they're going to prosecute the brave men and women who carried out this program that kept America safe. It is, it is un-American. It's something that hasn't happened before in this country in terms of uh, somebody taking office and then starting to prosecute people who carried out policies that they disagreed with, you know, in the previous administration. Um, and, you know, he's been very public about that, and I think it's it's just appalling. You know, you talk about the politics, Liz, in this city. You know who's got to be in an uncomfortable seat is Leon Panetta, you know? Yeah. Here, here he's got to defend his own force over there, and then he's got to deal with his own party on Capitol Hill. Well, it's it's very, very tough, and you can imagine, you know, what the morale must be like at the CIA today. And, mm-hmm. you know, these, these folks out there, you know, they're watching, and they say, okay, we're a nation at war, and we were in a situation where the president and the National Security Council, the Justice Department, everybody said our policy is we got to get information from these guys. And here, here is the you know the outline of this program. Here are the the lines that you can't cross, so that you got to make sure you're staying within those lines. These guys did that. They carried this program out according to the Department of Justice uh, opinions, and now they're they're you know facing potential prosecution. And, you know, you can imagine any time in the future when somebody at the agency is asked, you know, to take a risk, asked to implement a dangerous or sensitive or controversial program, they're now going to have to think twice about, you know, what's that going to mean? Is it going to destroy their career? Is it going to, you know, make them liable, uh, you know, uh, criminally? 